Hi, and welcome again with us. We are talking today about ASP.NET uh, Core MVC with the Entity Framework. This part will be number 15. Uh, so today we are going to to add our uh, student details. So what's mean that? So when I let me go to the student list, all the student list. So I found here all my student. So I need mo to know more about this student. I need to know how many courses he's enrolled in. So I should, when I press on this uh, details, to take me to a new page, put all the student details with more what he's he's enrolled in. So it should show me his uh, which how many how many courses he is in. So how to do that? Let's go to our uh, Visual Studio. First things we need to go to the student models. We need to add more. Let's say virtual field here. It will be I collection. Okay, from uh, it should be enrollment because what I will get enrollment. Enrollment. Get said. That's it. Okay. Here, what's what what we did here now? I get all the student. It will be one student and with. Let's say 100 to 100, how many courses in all will, uh, will be stored in this one. So let's close it. So how to get this data from the database? We should go to the repositories. You go to student repository. So we said before, uh, we are getting one student only. Uh, so this student... Uh, uh, we need to send ID for the student and I need all this data get back from database but to be with uh, let's say the relational database I need to include with this one uh, let's say e equal e dot enrollments so now I include all my uh, student with his, his courses he's enrolled so let's say that uh, what we need more we single and default for ID. Maybe we need more than uh, one course. I think even uh, we need gender too. That's what's happening here. Mm, it's okay, no problem. But we need, uh, I think, and then we need, uh, oh, let's say there. Check it there and back to the gender. Okay, a minute. So here I need to say let's say m equal m dot I need uh, should be student id equal equal be bold here id that's it if we need anything more we'll back to it again let's close this one here close it now we need to back to our uh, student controller okay the button down here we need the uh, HTTP get will be a uh, public I action I've got the tiles okay will be we'll get ID will be this ID in a mobile so let's say return view Okay, let's do it the easy way. Let's say uh, underscore student dot. Um, I need one student only. I give him this ID to. And close this one here. That's it. Let's go save everything. And now add details. Which field I need? A student. Okay, let's say add. Uh, now I think maybe we need to add gender to date of birth. It's okay here. On gender, gender name. Maybe it will show us number only, but we'll see. No problem. So now 
that's it if we run here this one will not see any things so we need to add one more things here we finish one two one two one two okay let's add one more let's copy this one sorry okay add it here let's call this one enrollment to just get the name and uh, this one take of all this one no you did so here what we should add i need to add here list of uh, enrollment so i can do easy way and go to enrollment index okay because i will get something it should be like this so just select the table from here down 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 until the button here down back to details okay course ID starting date mm. so here we can't uh, use same this one cause okay let me show you how what we'll do in this one let's say here oh, student okay after that we'll take off what we don't need course okay and start that take this one too don't need it okay and this one grab easy easy here model should I don't want to take all models I will just take enrollments because this one is uh, let's say innumerable or I collection to us so that's fine here uh, let's run it and check what will happen Let's go to student, student, and if we press on details, oh, that's it, easy, nice. So, but course, courses, nothing here, courses. Why? Because I need to implement it from the uh, courses and gender. So, look here, we should put the course name and the gender. So, and what's more, let's try to. make sure it's working fine but let me see first student this one was let's say again back to enrollment let's say new enrollment let's say I'm first student and that about and let's say 10 10 20 20 okay let's back without anything great well, let's back to student which student now we have two first one back to detail so i have now both of them here okay mm, uh, let me fix this one course and uh, gender so for gender let's close this one okay let's go to our uh, repository student repository if we need to find just one so get student uh, this one here we can go on down okay we can add one more here let's call it uh, include uh, j equal j genders save it I'll check it again here 
big time here. Let's go to student. Back to this details here. Gents are now working fine. We need courses to forget courses. Uh, but courses, it will be different. I think. I'm not sure. Let's go check it there now. Because we don't have. Let's go to uh, back to our models for student services. Here, we don't have any relation to courses. I think we can get it. Uh, let me check how we can get courses with the enrollment. It's okay here. We can get course here, but we can get it there. Let's back to the index. That will be more than uh, one table. I will check it. So now, uh, after we include the enrollment and gender, these two tables, we include them in uh, our uh, uh, field. So now we need to include uh, courses. Here we can't say include course because there is no relation between, uh, uh, let's say, no, no direct relation between course and between uh, student. Let me show you in our database how's the, how what's mean that. So we need something different or a different way. We need, let's say, uh, uh, let's use join with the uh, enrollment, not with the student. So what's mean that here? If you go to our database to student, let's check the diagram. So as we see here, we have a student. The student we, he can include enrollment and same time he can include gender but he can't in, he cannot include courses because there is no relation between them uh, so what we should do we include this one after that this, there is something we call it then include courses so how it will be that so let's go and uh, say point then include after include the enrollment, then include, let's say, uh, c equal uh, c dot uh, courses. That's what I think here. Okay, we include this one and this one, and then we include this one, uh, this uh, the third one, the courses, following the enrollment. So if we run it now, let's check what will happen. Let's go to student. We'll see all our student here. Everything's fine. If we want to check details for second one. So now we see the student name. We can't take this one off. We don't need it here. This one is student. But you can leave course, start date, end date, or grad. And that's it. I don't think I don't think though we need this one here too. Or we can modify them, but need to change the controller name. But you see in the button down there, you see it's uh, student details and not uh, about the enrollment. So next time we will do same this step, but for enrollment, when you check details here for enrollment, you should see how many students enroll in this uh, course. Now that's it for today and see you next time. Bye bye.